Hey, what's going on guys? So Tottenham Hotspur are in talks with Udinese over Italian left-back Destiny Odogi. That is one fucking class name, by the way. Should the signing be completed, Spurs intend to send the teenager back on loan to his current club, just like they did with Pape Matasar and Metz. As per The Athletic, Antonio Conte is a huge admirer of Odogi, and managing director Fabio Paratici even attempted to sign him while at Juventus which just goes to show you how impressive his performance were at both youth level as well as in the Serie A. Given Udinese have already lost their first choice wing back on the opposite flank in Nahel Molina to Atletico Madrid earlier in the summer, there's a reluctance to sell on their part. That being said, a lucrative financial offer will be difficult for them to turn down, particularly when they're aware that selling to Tottenham will see them keep the 19-year-old for at least another season, which wouldn't be the case with, with the other interested party in Brighton and Hove Albion who see him as a direct replacement for Chelsea-bound Mark Cucurella for next season. In terms of his background, Udogi was born and brought up in Italy by his Nigerian parents and was snapped up by local club Hellas Verona as a 15-year-old. Impressing for their academy as well as for Italy's under-16s, 17s, 18s, 19s and 21 sides, he was given his Serie A debut for a decent Verona team which ended up finishing 10th in the table. With game time limited, the club naively decided to send him out on loan to Udinese in a deal which included an obligation to buy at just 4 million euros. They'll be bloody kicking themselves over in Veneto for doing so, as the kid went on to register a hugely impressive 5 goals and 3 assists in a mere 35 games from the left wing back position. Truly staggering numbers for someone in their first full professional season, that too at a mid-table club. This now sees him valued at well over 20 million quid. Aside from his end product, Clubs around Europe are after Udogi for his multifaceted style of play, which sees him excel in both halves of the pitch. Unlike many modern-day fullbacks, the lad is brilliant defensively with his constant blocks, interceptions and last-ditch tackles to regain possession. Conversely, he also has it in him to carry the ball forward and create chances for his side, which is why he spends so much of his time in the middle and attacking thirds of the pitch. Perhaps what's most impressive about Udogi's meteoric rise is that he's instantly adapted to a league notorious for its tactical rigidity, making it highly likely he'll fare well in a wide variety of different systems. In addition, he's got a remarkable physical profile for someone so young, suggesting he's destined, pardon the pun, for the big time. Couple this with his pace, passing and positional awareness well beyond his years, and you've got someone not just for the future, but also the present. Overall, while Spurs are quite clearly sorted at wingback for the upcoming year, this is a shrewd signing who many believe could go on to be the flag bearer of new age Italian defenders moving forward. With Nigeria desperately trying to convince him to switch allegiances, one cannot help but feel excited about what's to come for someone who's achieved so much in such little time. A bonus is that he's accustomed to playing in a 3-5-2 under Andrea Sotil, which will put him in good stead for when he returns to London after gaining a year of experience and starts getting minutes under Conte, who, unlike in previous jobs, appears to be in it for the long term this time round. Cheers for tuning in guys, I really hope you found this video useful. If that is the case, please do consider giving it a like and subscribe for more football as well as Spurs related content. I can't quite believe the league's starting tomorrow, I'm absolutely buzzing even though my own team are shite and will most certainly be keeping an eye out for Spurs and their results. As things stand, I simply do not see them finishing lower than third. Please do leave your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.